WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder has come out and said now that Anthony Joshua was set to earn double what he was going to earn if their much anticipated showdown had taken place. He has also reiterated that he would not be accepting anything less than 50-50 for the fight to be made. The fight doesn't get made unless these demands are met. Also, he is saying he is the most talked about boxer and the most famous boxer. He continues to talk about this now. Ever since this list has been pulled from nowhere, Deontay Wilder seems to think that he is the A-side now and that he deserves 50-50 in this fight. That would mean he is the A-side because he does not deserve even 40%. So the fact that he thinks he deserves 50-50 means he really overvalues what he brings to the table for this fight. Because Anthony Joshua brings the biggest draw, he brings the more belts, and he's going to give Deontay Wilder his career highest payday. Whereas Anthony Joshua will obviously get his career highest payday, but considering what Deontay Wilder will be earning against Dominic Brazil, he will be earning a lot more in the Anthony Joshua fight. Anthony Joshua will be earning a lot more also, but they will both increase their pay equally, because Deontay Wilder will be able to earn more because of Anthony Joshua's name, and obviously Anthony Joshua will be able to earn more because it is an undisputed fight, the biggest fight in world boxing. So they will both increase their fight purse more than they have ever earned before, but Deontay Wilder cannot expect to go from earning 7 million a fight, or in his last fight against Tyson Fury that was, I don't know what he's getting for the Dominic Brazil fight, but he cannot go from that and then jump up to Anthony Joshua's level, because it just doesn't happen. Anthony Joshua has worked hard and he has built a brand to get to that level. Deontay Wilder cannot just expect to come along with his WBC belt and just suddenly jump up to that level, because he's not on the same par as Anthony Joshua. He claims to have agreed a fight with Anthony Joshua last year, but Anthony Joshua chose to face Povetkin instead, his WBA mandatory. But, I mean, there is no evidence of this, and he did accept a 15 million deal, fair enough. But when he was sent a contract, he did not sign it, and there was no contact from his team from then on. They did not even say what they didn't like about the deal. Deontay Wilder and his team just seem to be coming up with excuse after excuse, and they come up with a lot of them. Anthony Joshua is quiet, he's getting his head down, he's not doing media, he is just working on Gerald Miller, the task that he has in front of him, which is what Deontay Wilder should be doing. He has Dominic Brazil. No easy task. Dominic Brazil is not a soft touch. You saw in the Anthony Joshua fight, yes he got battered from pillar to post, but he stayed in there for as long as he could. He has a lot of heart and he will not quit. So Deontay Wilder should be focusing on that instead of trying to stay in the media eye by saying Anthony Joshua's name, because that is what he is doing again. We've seen him do it over the last two years, but he's doing it again. I mean, I don't see why these Wilder fans cannot see this. He's just shouting Anthony Joshua's name to try and sell his fight with Dominic Brazil. That is what he is doing here. Nothing more, nothing less. He just wants to sell his fight using Anthony Joshua's name. Something he has done to get on the world's most famous boxer list, which doesn't even exist. That's just a load of rubbish. So Deontay Wilder is just doing his old tricks again. Just using Anthony Joshua's name to build his current fight. Because when his fight is over, and he may lose, he may win. And I guarantee you, after Anthony Joshua's fight with Jarrell Miller, if Anthony Joshua does come through, which I think he will, he will not say Anthony Joshua's name, because Anthony Joshua will be without an opponent, and Deontay Wilder can step in there with Anthony Joshua if he wants to. But he won't. He'll wait for Anthony Joshua to have another opponent, and he will do exactly the same thing again. There is a pattern emerging. I don't know whether you can see it, if you are a Wilder fan, because the Wilder fans seem to have blinkers on. But just look at the evidence. Deontay Wilder always talks about Anthony Joshua when he has a fight on, and when Anthony Joshua has a fight on himself. But when there's no fight, Deontay Wilder is completely silent. And another thing as well, he talks about Tyson Fury, but Tyson Fury was texting him back and forth before their fight. Since then, Tyson Fury has texted Deontay Wilder to meet no response. It is pretty clear that Deontay Wilder has lost all of his bottle if he had any in the first place, and he will not face Anthony Joshua. He will come up with excuse after excuse and anything he can to not get in the ring with Anthony Joshua. But guys, what are your thoughts on this? The latest excuses from Deontay Wilder. Please drop your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys.